Now, the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, what a stormy morning it was in the Treasure Valley. Heavy rain and some good snow flying in the mountains. I'll show you some uh, pictures coming up here in a moment. Right now, we've got generally a partly cloudy sky in the Treasure Valley. Looking towards the northwest from downtown Boise, from the Ford Dealers Tower Camp, from high atop the Grove Hotel downtown. So we're getting some sunshine, but there are isolated showers popping up, and that's why we see it popping up here on our current conditions at the airport. 49 degrees, wind is north at night. It's chilly outside. It will stay damp and cold before you know when that sun goes down tonight. You'll know that temperature's dropping. It will be chilly indeed. Look at the temperatures around the region. 57 in Ontario, 54 in Mountain Home, only in the 30s in Idaho's higher elevations, 45 degrees in Twin Falls. And you look at Stanley at 39 degrees. We'll call the 39 degrees and we're talking about uh, some snow in the higher elevations, but just not quite making it into the valley just yet. Well, look at this time lapse. There's the cloud line. That's pretty much the snow level. And at times we had snow mixing down in the valley, but there was some good rain flying. You go up to the higher elevations, Brundage Mountain right here. Indeed, snow had been flying, and uh, it looks like the summit cam. See if we can get this to pop in here. Uh, hopefully it will at the end of this loop. I guess not. Well, there's snow on the top of Brundage Mountain. <laughs> it's not dark yet. This is Stanley. Look at the snow on the ground this morning in Stanley, and it lasted through much of the day. You can still see the snow and some of the roofs then disappearing. And then in the afternoon, we're up to 39. That snow level creeping up the mountains a bit, but snow was flying in Stanley overnight and this morning. And Sun Valley, how about a two consecutive days with snow on the ground on the golf course, and then it's gone. And then a rain-snow mixture falling during the day. We could see it here. And look at this now. The sky is clearing and showing boldly with the snow on the slopes. And so, as you would expect, snow in those highest of elevations. Here's the top of Sun Valley with the snow right here. And uh, it's not melting. It's hanging around. It's likely to hang around for a little while as well before we start to see some melting here as those temperatures come up. Let's look at the latest Doppler radar. You look at that rain shower that was over the north side of Boise. It went right over southeast Boise, heading along the foothills by Lucky Peak and tracking to the southeast and then weakening. But generally speaking, we've dried things out in northern Ada County. But these popcorn showers are right here. Here's another one entering western Canyon County here. This one's holding together. Well, it could hit the areas like Parma, north of Homedale, uh, scattered showers in northern portions of Elmore County, another one in Washington County, going by northern Gem County here as well, and south of McCall, we've got a couple of these isolated showers. They'll be with us this evening, and then overnight tonight, we'll tend to dry, out, dry things out a bit as this low pressure system up in northern Idaho continues to push on off into western Montana. A drier flow of air finally beginning to move in. Even between the storms we had over the past weekend, we had lots of moisture keeping the shower going, but that drying trend will continue tonight, but lingering moisture could give us some fog. Typically, you don't get frost and fog in the same morning, but you can certainly get it. In a situation like this, it may be the case. Some places getting some frost, some places getting some fog, but sunshine is building in from the west, and I think you're going to notice that. So the future cast, you still see the snow showers in the mountains tonight, but watch all this just disappear overnight, and during the afternoon tomorrow, look at all this sunshine. On Thursday, day of the game, we've got rain in Moscow, but we're still mostly clear in southern Idaho. We may go partly cloudy, and there could be a shower in McCall briefly, but generally speaking, it looks good. And even on Friday, the sun is out, and over the weekend, looks pretty good as well. So, my Bronco cast does have a few clouds around and maybe a little breezy at 6 o'clock, 66 degrees, then down to 59. It will be chilly during the game. Another 8 15 start this Thursday, but it won't be raining like it was last Saturday. Here's my exclusive true view of tomorrow's weather today in the Treasure Valley. The sunshine comes out, a few clouds drifting through, temperatures popping up to near 60 degrees with light wind after. Some morning frost or some fog. It should be a really fine afternoon coming on in with those temperatures getting into the 50s. While to the West Central and Boise Mountains, we still see some 50s, although 47 in Pine and Featherville, a chilly start to the day. Only 45 degrees in the McCall area tomorrow. Snow showers tonight, clearing tomorrow. Same story for Stanley and Sun Valley. Snow showers tonight, clearing tomorrow. About 45 degrees in Sun Valley tomorrow. And sunshine returns to the Magic Valley as well. 59 in Boise, but notice as we go towards Friday and the weekend, temperature on Friday could be 68 degrees with sunshine, some real nice weather on Friday. There'll be some clouds over the weekend that we'll have to keep an eye on, but I don't expect precipitation as you see there nice. uh, on Thursday in the mountains. That's about it. Drying out. Drying out, finally. We, can, yes. we could use it. Yep. Thanks, right, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Coming up on